Well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends, welcome back to the channel. And today, as you've seen by the title, I bring you the newest trailer for the fairy tale game that's coming out on July the 31st. It's actually, they call it PV2, promotional video number two. So, but yeah, it's two minutes just comprised of fairy tale goodness. The trailer itself has quite a few new details, closer to the end and the beginning. It begins by showing a bit of Natsu doing Natsu things. From And, and this footage seems to be all from the Tartarus R cutscene. So we see like Grey's Devil Slayer Powers, Mart Gears Transformed, which is really, really cool. Like so this this is to be the this is to be the culmination of the game. If I'm not mistaken, the Mart Gear, the Mart Gear fight will probably be the last fight of the game. So I am expecting some big things for this fight. So yeah, we get the the full on confirmation that there are only sixteen playable characters in the whole game. I don't know if they're going to add more to the DLC, but I don't think that that's actually a good move on their part if they decide to do it so i mean again i'm not the developers or the distributors but if i had to give my opinion i don't think that for a first game offering playable characters as dlc is a good option hell even for pirate warriors 4 and just as an example i don't think that it's a good idea to just blatantly scrap characters to make them available for dlc it will take a lot of convincing to to sell that to some people and I don't know if that's not going to flop but that's not the point of this video so yeah 16 playable characters we went through them in the last video but I can go through them again I don't know them by heart do not expect do not expect me to know them by heart but I will just but I will just try to look it up Fairy tale game? No, I don't want the portable guild game. What's who has ever heard of the portable? Okay, fairy tale video game. Okay, so playable characters. We have Team Natsu, Natsu Dragnil, Lucy Hart, Philia, Grayful Buster, Asa Scarlet, and Wendy Marvel. Fairy tale team B: Gadgil, Gadgil, Red Fox, Julia Lox, Julia Loxa, Jalal Fernandez, Kagura. No, Kagura is not part of Team B. Sorry. Team B, Mirjane Strauss and Laxus Drea. From Fairy Tales 2, we have Gildard's Clive. Then we have Kagura Mi Mikazuchi, Sherry Blendy, Ichi Evandale Kotobuki, Sting Euclid, Rogue Cheney, and. And that's it. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to read all their names, but I did. So, 16 playable characters. Not a bad number for a first game, I tell you that much. And the roster they've chosen is really, really cool. Of course, Team Natsu had to be there, no questions asked. Fairytale Team B, same because of the Grand Magic, Grand Magic Games arc. And the other ones are really all just cool. I mean, not fan service -y. Okay, Guild Arts is fan service. Never mind. Guild Arts is fan service, no questions asked. Because there are no arcs on this game that feature guild arts in any major way. They're Terojima, but they are not going to delve to delve too deep into Terojima to have guild arts versus blue note. So I mean Terojima will start at the at at the near end. At the at the very least, I think we'll have the Luxus versus 80s fight. The Natsu team versus 80s. And and if they are nice to us and they want to give us a bit of fan service, we'll have a fight against technology. Maybe. Maybe. We don't know. But we'll see. They haven't shown anything on that sense. In fact, the thing they the the, the one thing they shown about the Terran G mark are just Laxus versus 80s and Natsu and the others versus 80s, nothing else. So we don't know what happens between Natsu and the others versus 80s to the X791 arc. So we'll have to wait and see. 
but yeah, I don't think we'll have we'll get to see like Gildas versus Blue Note. So most likely we won't see that because that happens a bit before a bit before the Aedes fight. But we'll wait and see. Now, honestly, I feel that a few other characters could have made an appearance. Um, Elfman, for starters, could have been a good choice. I would, li I would have liked to see Bacchus from Quatro Carveros, if for nothing else than for just representation purposes, because the poor Quatro Carveros guild doesn't have any sort of representation in the game. So, and their fight was pretty cool. It turned out to be an endurance fight, and I really, really enjoyed that fight. I remember reading it when it first came out, and I was like, oh my god, this is a cool fight. It's not flashy by any means, but it is a cool fight. We have also some non-playable characters, and so far we only know of six. The, the wiki indicates only five, but there's six, because Canal Verona was shown in this PV2 a little bit later down the line. So, but let's move on and I'll show that, because we see some footage from characters, Lucy's Ranometria, some magic for all the characters is really really cool the game looks so cool and yeah we start to see some great magic spells and they show coincidentally they show two of the three main of the three big weapons of fairy tale fairy law and fairy glitter being used by makarov and kanal verona specifically so yeah that's why I believe Kana will be a support character and, sh and her support magic will be Fairy Glitter. Now, if, it's all, if her appearance is a one-time thing or not, we still, don't, we still don't know exactly how the support system works. The, the wiki makes a distinction between guest characters and support characters. And they indicate guests, the four guest characters being Flame Corona, Leon Vastia, Minerva Orland, and Ultiar Milkovich. So, what I think this will be is like characters you have in your party, you can have them in fights, you can control them to a certain degree, but not much. Like, the wiki states that they will automatically perform a range of powerful magical abilities, so whether they'll be there and whenever it's their turn they'll attack or wait or whatever actions are available to them, it's still up in the air. The trailers don't show much on the actual specific, specific actions that the support characters will take. The guest characters, I should mean, because then the support characters they list Makarov as, as a support character. So the support characters, I really think it's a one-time thing. Like you have Makarov selected as a support character, you fill out a gauge, and then when that gauge is full, you have an option to press a button, complete an action, and then Makarov comes and utilizes Fairy Law. That's it, because to be honest, we haven't really seen Makarov doing all that, all that much. Like, the guy turns up, either goes giant or goes fairy long. That's it. So yeah. And I believe that Count Alberona will also fit into the support character category. You'll fill up a bar, she'll appear, fairy glitter, boom. So yeah. And then at the end of this trailer there's another cool thing that I that I'll touch up that I'll touch up in a moment. So yeah. We see fairy law, we see fairy glitter. All that cool, and then we start getting to some gameplay specific things. In the guild, we have the request board, which you already knew was there. We'll be able to customize our team members, and another interesting thing that I'm now noticing. The character levels seem to be up for quite a bit, because all the four characters that are shown in, in, this, in this image that I believe I'm showing, they are all up to level 33, so... That is quite high. I was not expecting it to go as high as that. I mean, I don't really have an idea on how high they should go or they would go, but I was gunning more for like 30. Like 30 would be the cap. But no, it seemed that they will be going a bit over 30 and most likely up until 40s or 50s. 50 seem to be will seem seems to me that it will be the max level for the characters. 
And since we have 16 characters, uh, getting them all up to max will be an ordeal. Well, Natsu's team will level up through story mode. And then the others will probably level up through the original content that we will have throughout the game. Which the trailer also touches more in a bit. But yeah, we have the customized... The promise to make our own original team so we can, out of the 16 characters, we can make, I think, a full, a five-member party. We have the lab, which seems to be an interesting, an interesting addition. Basically, what happens in the lab is that you create lacrimas, and I don't know if they are a one-time thing, or if they are, like, for a specific battle, like a power-up for that battle, because the one that we see in the description we see is the Wizard Talisman, and the description reads, raises his attack by 60, so... And it's a great for Lacrima, apparently, so there, there appears to be five grades, five tiers, so all the way from grade one to grade five, and... Yeah, I mean, it appears that the lab is going to be run by Le by Levy. She appears here at the beginning before before the synthesize option is selected. So it's an interesting addition. We know that in RPGs we do have we do need to have this progression thing. Then there's a shop run by Lisana that will allow us to well, you know, as a shop do to buy and um, to buy and sell items. There's an interesting detail that I'm looking now. At the top left corner reads the, reads the title for a mission summary and it's called Dawn of a New Adventure. Raise the guild's rank to 25. So, this I think is how they lock progress between arcs. So, I think, and because this seems to, to be in the, in the bigger castle, in the, in the big guild hall, not the tiny one, but it seems that after the Grand Magic games, we'll have a time where we will need to progress in the guild ranks to continue the story. And that's cool, because if not, we would just move on with the story and that wouldn't be really all that interesting. So let's move on. Then we have the bar, which it's interesting because... It conflicts a bit with what I think the lab will be. The bar is run by Kana, and it apparently sells power-ups, but temporary power-ups. So we see the one that's selected, an Eternano infused water, and the description reads, raises everyone's attack by 3% for a while. So this for me, I think this will be the temporary power-ups that you can use during a battle, or before a battle, I don't know, and it will last by, let's say, two to three turns. I don't know how long the battles will, will last, but two to three turns do seem, does seem like feasible to me. And then there's this section that I don't know if I should show in the video or not, because, I mean, it's, it's typical fairy tale fashion. Let's let's just say that it's typical fairy tale fashion, and it's it's quite the view. It's quite the view, I have to say. But yeah, I mean, this is probably part of that segment in the Grand Magic games where they go to the to the water park. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be some activity related to there, some side quests. Probably there'll be something, because the next section of the video talks specifically about exclusive content. And we see an interaction between Luxus and Mira Jane, Kagura and Erza, and Rogue and Little Frosh. Ever so cute! But yeah, and then we end with this beautiful shot of Mard Gears transformed in their fight, in this fight against Natsu and Grey, and the trailer ends with the biggest thing, the strongest team in fairy tale. My dear friends, my dear viewers, do not fool yourselves. The strongest team is not Natsu Erzen and Grey, as they told you, as they sell you from the start, and my throat is getting parched. The strongest team is here, right here. Charla, Happy, and Pantalili. The exceeds a fairy tale. They 
are the strongest members of the fairy tale guild and they unleash their Axian special and they'll defeat Zeref who's probably not even going to appear in this game or if he does is going to appear in a cutscene but they'll defeat him and the next game will start with Zeref being defeated by the Axian special you take notes on that so yeah <laughs> anyway this was a cool trailer I doubted that we'll have a new trailer before the launch trailer so this in my and yeah we have the early purchase bonus and that like and the digital deluxe edition has a set of costumes for the fairytale team a costumes which again I mean I'm not gonna pay like I don't know how many more how much more that is but I will not pay 20 or so more euros just to have purple matching outfits I'm sorry I'm sure there'll be plenty of costumes in the game to choose from and I'll be okay with choosing whichever are available at that time and there's also another one for Lucy a collaboration costume that I don't really know where it's from it looks cool I I gotta say I was expecting for something a bit more fan servicey I mean even Ares's special costume the the Miss Fairy Tale costume is not that fan service I mean it is fan service but given the things Fairy Tales shown us over the years I was expecting a lot more fan service and I I applaud you for that so yeah this was it for Fairy Tale. I don't know if I'm going to do anything else with the game until it launches. I do know I will have a lot to do with it when it launches. Like, I will buy it if the the coverage program doesn't work out my way. I will buy the game and I'll cover the game on the channel. You bet your asses I will. I will have walkthroughs if I'm allowed to post them. And I'll have character showcases and all that. I want to cover this game. I want this I want this to be the anime game I cover on my channel. I wanted to cover Pirate Warriors 4, but a lot of things happened. COVID-19 happened and I haven't even bought the game yet. I don't own Pirate Warriors 4 yet. And I haven't played it and I'm dying to play it. Even though I talked all that crap about it and the DLCs. I do want to play the game. I will most likely buy the DLCs or at least I'll wait for the Deluxe Edition to be a little bit cheaper so I can buy it with the DLCs already. And I'm gonna be honest, the first pack does look kind of cool, even though Cracker, Smoothie and Judge should have been in the game from the start. But that's another matter in its entirety. This, is, this has been fairy tale. I'm really, really looking forward. Before doing this video and before re-watching this trailer, I went and watched all the trailers for this game, like in sequence, and my god, I fell in love over and over again with, with this game because it really shows that they, they did a lot for this game. So they did a lot for it and they are trying to do justice for fairy tale and i believe they will succeed as you guys know if you remember my relationship with fairy tale is a bit wonky like <coughs> my coverage of the last arc shows a lot about um about how the game, how the arc broke me a little bit in the end, and yeah, I am rereading Fairy Tale. Now I started a few days ago. I am already on the Lullaby arc, and I want to do something with that. I want to read it. I want to analyze it, and I want to bring it to the channel. And I want to see. I want to go through Fairy Tale from beginning to end. To properly understand the final arc because that's a thing and I noticed that when I reread Bleach it didn't make me enjoy the last arc more than I had 
when I first read it, but I understood it a lot more reading it like in full and not one chapter a week because that breaks a lot of the pacing and to be honest fairy tale and bleach i'm not as versed in those as i am in one piece so one piece i can remember everything from week to week fairy tale and bleach especially on the last arc where so many new things appeared out of nowhere so many new concepts and whatnot especially for bleach but anyway this has this has been it for fairy tale i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if like me you are eager to see this game be released i urge you to tell me your opinions in the comment section down below about this game as i said i don't know if i'm going to do anything else with this game before it launches i have a few opinions about it on my mind about the arts about the characters but honestly i tried recording all that and it just turned out it didn't turn out okay, so I decided, you know what, let's scrap this and let's discuss it in the comments with you guys. So if you'd be so kind, please do comment. I am eager to read your comments and respond to it, to them. So yeah, my English is all over the place these past few days, but never mind. My dear friends, my dear viewers, this has been it for this video and for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like, a comment, and if you'd be so kind, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time for more fairy tale, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Harry Potter in Minecraft, or One Piece, whatever it is you're here for. And I'm so glad you are here. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.